Bye for now. Okay, solve an equation that's involving harder fractions. Uh, this is a third level of difficulty, if you like. We've got more than one fraction involved, and in this case, we've got three fractions with different denominators. And what we need to do, first of all, the strategy must be to find the lowest common multiple of our denominators, and then, or lowest common denominator, and then multiply both sides by this. So the lowest common, so first example, lowest common denominator of eight and four, is 8. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 8. So 8 lots of the left-hand side divided by 8 is just going to be 4x minus 7. And 8 lots of x minus 3 then divided by 4 is just 2 lots of x minus 3. And we expand the bracket and we're left with a situation where we've got an equal equation with x on both sides. So I'm going to get rid of the 2x here by taking it away from both sides. And I'm going to get rid of the minus 7 from here by adding 7 to both sides. So the 7 goes away, the 2x goes away, 4x minus 2x is 2x, minus 6 plus 7 is 1, so x is equal to a half. And then because it's algebra, we can check it really easy by substituting back into the original. So we've got 4 times x, 4 times a half, take away 7 divided by 8. And on the right hand side, we've got a half, take away 3 divided by 4. And that gives us, when we do the arithmetic here, 4 halves are 2, take away 7 is minus 5, divided by 8, and on the right hand side we've got two, minus 2 and a half, divided by 4. And you can see that this will, this is an equivalent fraction to minus 5 over 8. And so left hand side agrees with the right hand side, so x is equal to a half is the right answer. Brilliant. Okay, second example. Lowest common multiple of 6, 4, and 3 is 12. So we're going to multiply every term by 12. So the first term is 12 times 3x minus 2 divided by 6, which is just 2 lots of 3x minus 2. And then we've got 12 lots of x minus 2 divided by 4, so we've just got minus 3 lots of x minus 2. And then 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2x minus 1. And expand the brackets and then simplify our terms and we're left with a situation that we should be well accustomed to by now. We've got an equation with x on both sides. So take away 3x, add the 4, and that gives us 5x is equal to 6, x is 6 over 5. And then because it's algebra we can check our answer by substitution. Nice and easy. So 3 lots of 6 over 5, take away 2, which I've written as 10 over 5, divided by 6, take away 6 over 5, take away 2, which I'm writing as 10 over 5, divided by 4, equals 2 lots of 6 over 5, 12 over 5, take away 1, which is 5 over 5, and that's divided by 3. So if we look at our fractions, we've got 8, 18 minus 10 is 8, divided by 5, divided by 6 is 8 over 30. 6 minus 10 is minus 4, so the minus and a minus makes it a plus 4 over 5 over 20. 4 times 5 is 20. And then 12 minus 5 is 7, divided by 5, divided by 3, is 7 over 15. And you can see that this makes sense just by considering equivalent fractions. Uh, double the top and the bottom of the first one, so we've got 16 over 60. Treble the top and the bottom of the second one, 12 over 60. And quadruple the 7 and the 15 to give 28 over 60. 16 and 12 is 28, divided by 60, equals 28 divided by 60. Left equals right, and so x is 6 over fifths is the right answer, 6 fifths. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Have a look at my other videos. Bye for now. Okay, so